All right, so looking at the handle, I realized I made a little bit of a tactical error, and that is our circular cut is only on one side. I made it go all the way through. So what I'm gonna do is head over to my origin sketch uh, for, for where that piece of geometry came from, and I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these uh, splines here, and we'll just redraw it. So I'll put a new spline in, there to there, right click and hit OK. And now I can grab the handles and try to match that curvature. And so long as this is golden, when I leave stop sketch, it'll go ahead and just pipe those updates through. And so now we've got this piece of geometry here is nice and clean. So uh, at this point, what I'm going to do is cut the uh, the middle section out, and I'm going to use the the blade itself as the uh, the the driver for what that's going to look like. So I'm going to go and we'll do a new sketch on the work plane's fine. We'll make a line, and I'm just going to come over to this point here, which is going to be along the outside edge of the knife blade, which will be as thick as this cut will ever need to be. And I'll just do a click and drag it out so that it's nice. And you can see here, you get that little, this little symbol right here, that little sort of uh, right angle symbol. That means I'm going to be parallel. And so now I can come back up to this outside edge here and drag down. And you still get that blue dotted line. And if I get, as long as I'm kind of close to it, it should actually preserve it. Let's see. And I will just click and then come back up to uh, wherever that one was and close it off. Hit OK. So now I can hide the blade and I'm going to have, let me hit stop sketch here, I'll have this uh, new piece of geometry that I can now use to cut out the inside of that, uh, that shape. So we'll go ahead and grab both of these little um, Little planes here, do a press pull, and I'm just going to go ahead and we'll do uh, two sides here. And by default, as soon as it hits another body, it's, it assumes that I want to do a cut operation, which in this case I do. And uh, I need to hide the the, uh, the blade. If I have the blade showing, it'll just cut through everything that's visible. And obviously, I don't want that to happen to the blade, uh, so I'm going to hit OK there. And now we'll go to the right view. And now what I have, it's worth pointing out. Let me hide the canvas here are two bodies. Before I had one, and now I have two. So body two and body four. So don't really need body four visible right now. It's not gonna hurt anything, but just to keep this kind of clear. Gonna go ahead and do this circular cut now. So I'll go to sketch and create sketch. Grab that work plane. Sketch, we'll do a circle, center circle diameter. Just kind of gonna guess about that. Go ahead and hide the geo. So grabbing the center point will give me the ability to move the entire thing and clicking on the outside edge as we saw before will give me the ability to scale. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit stop sketch. We can show show that outside body. I'm gonna hide my canvas so this is as clear as possible and we'll just do a press pull and punch it through, make sure it goes all the way, and hit OK. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to want to do is add, I think, that chamfer to the outside edges. So let's take a look at the reference here. Oh yeah, that little piece right there. So once again, uh, in this case, I'm actually going to go back to the sketch. And I'm going to modify it. So we'll go to Edit Sketch and I will turn on my canvas. So I know I said I would do this with a piece of geometry, but now that I'm here, I think actually a spline is gonna be a better option. So I'll hit okay. And uh, definitely hide that body. I'm gonna grab this handle here and make it horizontal so that we can kind of get an idea for where it needs to be. Hit okay. 
and I'll do sketch and line. It will go from there to there. Hit OK. And now sketch and trim to get rid of these extra pieces. So now I've got that in there. And I'll hit stop. And looks like that caught, oh, I broke it. I, I trimmed, the, trimmed the wrong thing there. So let me hit undo. And this can maybe just, let's try it again. We'll go to sketch and trim and that little piece there. So right now, very important, this is not golden inside and I'm not entirely sure why, but you just kind of grab things and wiggle them around a little bit. This is the only area that we modified. Okay, so there you see that wasn't actually welded, but it looks like it's fine now. So let's stop sketch. And there we are, extrude is fine. Everybody's happy. So I'm gonna make sure there isn't anything on this side. Yeah, okay, so there's gonna be the slot cut over there. And mostly the, what I'm looking at is this chamfer feature goes around the entire thing. Also, there are those cuts there. But I think we can probably zoom in on that a little bit. What's it look like from the other side? Ah, okay, so those cuts aren't actually in the geometry. They're just that plastic form coming out. And because of my weird Photoshop job, it looks a little bit confusing there, but that's what's actually going on. So what I'm, what I'm trying to figure out here is this chamfer feature follows this circle. So I wanna make sure the circle is in there before I do the chamfer. But otherwise, I think everything on that side is fine. And looking over here, yeah, everything's fine there. And we'll just punch right through there with a, with a new thing. And this is actually, more of a rounded feature. It's more f more of a fillet than a chamfer. So uh, that'll be something we can do after this. So back over to Fusion. And I am going to come over and basically just grab all of these edges. And this can be a little bit frustrating. The reason I want to grab all the edges ahead of time is because the chamfer will only, typically only let you do uh, one edge at a time, so it ends up being a little bit time consuming. So I just took a guess at the dimension and I made that one millimeter. And that actually looks pretty good. Let me hop over to the reference real quick. Let's see what like 0.8 looks like. Yeah, okay. So that's gonna be fine for that side. And now we'll come over here and do the same thing. And unfortunately I can't do a mirror feature because the geometry is different with that uh, circular cut taken out. But I'll just do some shift select here and we'll go modify and then chamfer and the value should be 0.8. It's still in there we can say, okay. All right, let's go ahead and turn the blade back on and hide the uh, sketch here. So starting to come into, into the, uh, the form of the knife here. In the next video, we'll go ahead and add the cuts and detail that are supposed to be on this side. And uh, if there's time, we'll, we'll think about adding in that little plastic stopper thing too.